Hi there. My name is Dr. Ava Condon, and I will be your dermatologist today. What brings you in to see us? Okay, we can definitely take a look at that. I'm just going to uh, ask you a few questions, okay? Just to get started here. What is your first and last name? And your date of birth? And your last four of your social? Okay. And uh, do you have insurance? Okay, you did. You gave it to the- okay. And, uh, were you recommended to us? Oh, you were? Oh, awesome. By who? Oh, she is great, isn't she? Oh, you have some jaw issues that she helped you with? Are you, are you doing okay with that? Anything bugging you? Okay, well, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. I know. Her masseuse is amazing, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, I've had some issues with my, my temperament to really join as well, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, do you have any, any issues with excess oil or excess dryness on your skin? Would you say that your skin typically leans toward oily combination or dry? Okay. Do you have issues with acne? Okay. Do you typically get dry spots? Okay. Is anything sore or tender? Anything bugging you? Okay. What do you use to wash your face? Okay. And, um, do you exfoliate? What do you use to exfoliate? How often is that? Okay. Just kind of... Okay, do you use any uh, toners, moisturizers, cleansers, anything like that? Okay, and, and what brand was that? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Okay, how often do you use that? Morning and night. Okay, awesome. Do you use SPF when you go out in the sun? Okay. <laughs> and do you have any spots, marks, moles, birthmarks, anything like that that's changing shape, color, size? Awesome. Okay. And what do you see on your face as far as things that could be addressed to you? You see dark circles, wrinkles, dry patches, oily spots, um, big, large pores, anything, anything that stands out to you. Okay. And is that, is that something new? Has that always been there? Okay. Alright, and are you interested in doing anything about that particular issue, or? Okay. Well, I do have it on file here that you are experiencing that, and if you do ever want to do anything about it, we have services that we can definitely provide you. Um, anything that we can't do cosmetically, we can send you to somebody for, okay? Alright, so let's, uh, let's do the exam here. I think we're all set with that. Um, one last question. Do you have any allergies to anything? No latex, peanut, nothing like that. So, the first thing I'm going to do is 
put on some gloves and I'm just going to kind of take a look at my skin. Okay. Let's see what we're working with here. Gonna lightly touch your skin. Nothing too crazy. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of come over here and feel that spot you were talking about. I think it's just a little bit of dryness. I know you said you have some oily skin. So a lot of the stuff that you uh, use for oily skin specifically is meant to dry out the skin. So typically when you have oily skin, it's not oily all over. Even if you're someone who has more oil than just a T-zone, um, you do probably have some spots around your forehead and your hairline that might not be as oily as the rest of your skin. So when you're using those cleansers and toners and things to actually help the oily skin, you might want to avoid some of the areas that are getting that dryness. Because what's happening is you're, you're drying out patches of skin that aren't really overly oily. Okay? So, just kind of listen to your skin when it tells you, you know, that it's, it's flaking and getting oily. You know, either or. Address it accordingly. The same way you wouldn't apply moisturizer to, you know, skin that's super, super, you know, saturated. We wouldn't apply a moisturizer that's oil-based. I should clarify. You should always moisturize, but you wouldn't put oil on top of oil. You don't want to dry out already dry skin, so you just gotta kind of listen to your face. I'm um, gonna just take a look at it a little bit further, just to make sure that there's nothing deeper going on, but I, I'm pretty sure it's, it's just from the products that you're using and where you're using them. Okay, I do see some some acne here and some acne scarring but nothing too too crazy okay okay you actually have very beautiful skin now oh, you're welcome no I don't say that to everyone <laughs> no I don't I'm a dermatologist. I see people with not very good skin more often than I see people with good skin. <laughs> people don't come to the doctor when they're doing well, typically, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just seeing a little bit of dryness there. Nothing too crazy. I am going to look a little bit more closely with a flashlight. Okay. Not too bright. Not going to blind you. Just gonna kind of help me illuminate some of those areas, okay? So just, you know, you can close your eyes for this if you'd like. So I'm just going to kind of take a look at the skin. Mine's being a little, a little finicky here. <laughs> I might have released the button. It's user error, I think. Just look up for me as well. The skin under your chin. Beautiful. Okay. Can you turn your head that way for me? Awesome. Ears feel good. Okay. I don't see anything really problematic. Like I said, I do see that dry spot. I told you what I thought it was. Um, definitely let me know if it doesn't clear up, but we're going to go through some things here today that should kind of address some of that acne and everything going on there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little cotton pad here. And I'm going to just, uh, put 
apply some some witch hazel to the face okay and that should clear everything up and I would imagine how many people wear makeup to the dermatologist no I, I get it if you're you know coming here after work or something but bring a makeup wipe <laughs> I can't examine your skin if you're wearing you know concealer full coverage foundation so this is just some witch hazel super be nice I'm just gonna use it to to tone the skin really clean it so we can kind of take a look at everything and we'll uh, take care of some of those those pimples we got there okay all right I'll help you with that and I'll show you how you can do it at home too okay you need to be very very careful with how you go about it though So close your eyes for me. Perfect. Thank you. Put your chin up for me. Thank you. Bump it into stuff over here. <laughs> I meant to say. of cotton just feel like that. I'm just gonna kinda let that dry for a second. And I'm going to uh do with some of those. Yeah, I know. I know they stink, but we all get them. So this is a couple of tools here. That are for removal. This is a smaller one for blackheads and very small. So it's maybe around the outside of the mouth or the edge of the nose. So we have a couple of larger ones for some of the larger areas and acne. If I could grab them, right? So I have a few here. smaller acne and one for the larger acne. So I'm just going to start with some of the smaller ones. And you can just relax. I'm just going to kind of get rid of them. Right, so I'm going to push and pull down. Okay. That's all it's going to feel like. So just a little pressure and then pull down. We're good with those ones. There's a couple of larger ones. I'm just gonna get with this, okay? Same thing, just a bigger surface area, I promise, okay? So just hold still. Can you turn that way for me a little bit? Thank you. A little bit up. Perfect. Push. And pull down. Push. Go back in with a little more of that witch hazel and just clean you up. And the witch hazel is great because it's not over drying, so it won't over dry any of those spots. 
you have that already dry. It's very, very, very good for acne. So, the next thing I'm going to do is just um, put some, some serum on your face. Vitamin C, vitamin D, a lot of really good positive vitamins in here. And this will kind of help the skin there. So, just put a couple of little dribbles on there. Just close your eyes for a second. Perfect. Sorry about the airplanes. I feel like our office is located next to an international airport or a military base or something. <laughs> it's always something. We need to get a new office. I've been looking into it actually. Can you lift your head? This dries very, very quickly. Do you feel it drying already? Yeah. Okay. Pat, once it starts drying, I don't want to cause any pulling of the skin. Okay. I think we are good on that. I'm going to go over a couple of things with you before you leave. Let's close this up. Hazel is a very, very good toner. I would definitely look into that. It's very cheap. And it's very benign. It's really, really good for the face. Now, what I recommend for you for those spots are a couple of different things. This is non-prescription. You can get this, actually. There are a couple of brands I've seen. Oh, this is a very good one, though. It's Kate Somerville, and it is called Eradicate. It is acne treatment. And I don't know if you can see there between the little labels. It is a clear substance with a pink solid at the bottom, and you don't want to shake this. This is 10% sulfur. It does not smell the best. It's very, very strong. Do not put it on an open fit, so if you've just popped anything with any of these special tools, please don't pop anything with your fingers. Never, never, never. If you've just popped a zit or a zit is open, or you have a cut or a scratch or a wound of any kind, don't use this. It will burn so badly. But just take a, uh, a Q-tip, dip it all the way down to that sediment down there, pull it up, and then spot treat it right on those areas, okay? Once it's been on for a couple of minutes, you can actually pat it in. Nothing crazy, don't rub it in, just pat it, because it does look like Pepto-Bismol on your face. So... <laughs> If you do sleep next to somebody and you don't want to look like you have Pepto on your face, you can kind of pat it in a little bit. It won't stain anything. It dries really, really quickly. Just remember to not shake it. And if you do shake it, let it sit before you use it again. I'm also going to write you a prescription for this acne cream. And this is a gel. This is, so what is the percentage here? It's 50% benzoyl peroxide. It is very, 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 very strong for acne. Do not put this all over your face. This will dry out even the oiliest of skin. So since you already have some issues with some oily patches, please do not apply this to your entire face. I know you have a little bit of oily, a little bit of oil, I'm sorry, coming down the nose, a little bit of the T-zone coming down the chin, and I know you have some oil on your cheeks too, so just apply it to these areas. I would say do it for about two or three days, see how your skin's reacting, again, just in those areas, and if your skin is drying out, just use it as a spot treatment, same as you would the sulfur. So, kind of trade off, this is going to be a lot stronger than the sulfur, but this isn't for everyone. Some people find that this is way too drying, so we'll keep in touch, we'll kind of do a trial basis, I'll give you a small one of these, and um, if it doesn't work for you, if it's too strong, if it's not strong enough, there are cases where it's not strong enough, so you just spot this right on the zit if that's the case, and we'll kind of evaluate it from there. Okay. 
So now that that's kind of settled into your skin, I want to grab just some lotion. If I can find my samples. Oh, just, I told you I was a mess, right? Just a klutz. Right. So here is some moisturizer you can take home with you. This is a sample. This is Lancome. It is part of the Visionaire collection. Very, very, very good collection. It is a little pricey, um, but I will give you this sample, and you can put some of this on now if you'd like. You don't have to. You can let some of that uh, serum seep in a little more, but you can absolutely put moisturizer on. That serum feels like it's drying your skin out. It's not. It's actually your skin's sucking it all up, so it feels dry to the touch, but it's helping your skin, so if you want to put on moisturizer, you could put some of this on, okay? Awesome. All right, well, your skin is a little bit red from messing with it, but I think, you know, we did more, more good than harm. So, um, let's schedule you a follow-up, and I will, uh, punch up that prescription for you. What pharmacy do you use? The one just a okay. Perfect. And are you going to be using the same insurance for that prescription? Perfect. Okay, so I want to see you in about a month. Okay. If there are any issues before that, any questions, concerns, problems, dryness, anything. Give us a call, and I will modify, adjust accordingly. I might have you come in early if there is that much of an issue. If it's something that's very obviously medicine-caused, we'll tweak the medication, okay? Awesome. Okay, so, um, I have something on Tuesday the 12th at 8.30. Does that work for you? Something in the afternoon? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought, but... Okay, the next appointment I have then would be that Friday, but no, it's not that Friday. Um, no, hang on. I have Wednesday the 13th at 6.45. Does that work for you? Okay, that, that's our last appointment. Last appointment of the day. Yeah, well, Thursdays are our late days. We like to accommodate people who, you know, can't get out of work. <laughs> Everyone knows I can't, so... I, I understand when people, you know, just tell me that they can't. I, I can't call off. I can't get out early. <laughs> Trust me, I get it. Okay. So you're all set up for Wednesday the 13th at 6.45. And uh, you can go right back out to the receptionist and you can pay with her, okay? All right, so you pick up your prescription. It should be ready in about an hour, and I uh, will uh, see you in a month, okay? Let me know if you have any questions, problems, concerns, anything at all, okay? Oh, absolutely. Thank you so, so much. It was, it was great to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, tell her I said hi, okay? Thank you so much. I'll, I'll see you next time. You're a great patient. <laughs> Bye-bye.